Hello everybody. Well, we're having a little bit of a change today. I uh, thought I would give a Twin Saga a quick go. Uh, a new MMO. Um, very arty styled MMO. As you can see. Uh, it's just gone into open beta. So I thought we'd give it a look and uh, see what it's all about. So I've not played it at all yet. Uh, I'm not even selecting a server, so we've got the server here. Normal, smooth. Uh, we'll go for smooth, shall we? And see what happens. I think the first thing I need to do, if at all possible, let's create. I'm not sure how loud this music is to you guys, but it is quite loud to me. I've not had an option to turn it down yet, so... Alright, let's see what we've got. Gender, male, female. Uh, what shall we have? Let's have a classes. Swordmaster. Mage. Gunslinger. Dragon Knight. I do believe that there are, yeah, there's unlockables like these. They can unlock different classes later on. Uh, you're not stuck with one class, I do believe. Uh, cleric, I wonder what that's. Uh... Shall we go with Swordmaster? And maybe that'll lead us on to being a cleric. I'm not quite sure. Um, shall we try Dragon Knight? Let's try Dragon Knight, never tried anything like that before. Uh, class, can we... Uh, Forge from Draconic Powers of Flame, Malight and Wind. Dragon Knight is channeled the fearsome strength of their namesake in battle. Too quickly. <laughs> Too quickly. What, 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 what? What, I can't. Uh, well, never mind. Next. Uh, let's randomise a few of these. Oh. That hairstyle's alright, I'm not sure on the colour though. Uh, there we go. Uh, eye colour. No white. I'm glad when I can get to the main menu and turn this music down. Right, that'll do. Uh, okay. Uh, Ah, I think, I think that's fine. I just need to get to the next screen and turn it down. Play voice. Yeah, uh, I like that one. System, what system? Up, up, and away. Up, up, and away, what? Uh, right, okay, enter name, uh, what can we have? Dr Dragon Knight, um, Dragon S, there we go, that'll do, I bet it's gone, whoops. Dragon S, availability, game is available, confirm, woohoo! Oh yeah, that'll do. Hello. Ah, there we go. That took a little bit of time to get going. Oh, oh my god, what's all this? Uh, your legs are a little shaky. Oops, I didn't get a chance to read it. Taisen
Okay, alright, the music isn't quite as loud here. Not very strange. Uh, your legs are a little shaky, you disembark from the ship and gaze out across the equatorial landscape of Raywing Island. The solid ground feels like an old friend beneath your heels, and you take the opportunity to let your warm summer breeze marble in your lungs. Marble? What's that mean? Marble. Never heard that before. You've already gone out over the details of your mission more times than you can count. A surprisingly good way to combat seasickness, actually. So you've no short supply of confidence. But there's still one thing that baffles you. Why on earth again the wolves would deem this isolated island an agreeable location for a bit of pack hunting? Certainly they could whet our appetites more thoroughly elsewhere. Nevertheless, it's your job to take care of them and you're prepared to do your civic duty. You're interrupted from your wool gathering by... <laughs> wool gathering? <laughs> what? By the penetrating sound of your own name. Hey, Dragoness, over here. Heading on a swivel, you scan the perimeter and hope no one notices you nodding to yourself with a strangely self bolstering smile. I don't understand this. Well, there's a girl waving at you, Fina, no doubt. The mayor's daughter and the girl you've been tasked with escorting. Wanting to appear suitably dependent, dependable, you smooth the front of your garments and traipse over with the slightest of saunters. Uh, uh, okay, left click the ground or use WASD. That's the first quest, reward, accept. I don't want to use that. Uh, I don't want to use that, can I? What's all this? Daily events, not interested. Right, I can actually use the arrow keys, that's quite nice. I don't have to change that. Oh, okay, that feels quite fluid. And um, we have skills, blazing vortex. Will your spear turn and get into a blazing vortex hellfire and use it to impale your target? Summons the full force of powerful guilds into violent slashes, dealing damage and decreasing your enemy's movement speed, okay? Upon reaching the guild, you offer the most differential of bows before you're bequeathing her the bounty letter from your pocket. You do, after all, want to be paid for your services. Fina giggles softly at your social graces before taking the letter and swiftly scrolling her John Hancock across the bottom. <laughs> I must admit you're younger than I expected. She hands the letter back and you quietly took it away. Don't I need to read all this? It seems like there's going to be an awful lot of it. Please feel free to read. And if you would like me to read any more, if I do do another episode of this, let me know if you want me to read or just shut the hell up. And I want to turn that music down. Oh. Ah, system. Uh. Are we on ultra? Apply. Woo! That seemed to make a difference, didn't it? Confirm. Okay, yeah, I want ultra. config environment. Well, why is there no volume? Missing something here? What's that? Teleport? No, no, no. Categories, environment, gameplay, UI settings, 
key config. I must be going blind or something. I must be. Audio. Why didn't I see that before? Oh, that's better. Oh, my ears. Let's move that down as well. That's so much better. There we, there we go. Nice and quiet. Lovely. There we go. Right, I'm not going to read all this. Continue. 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 Complete. <sighs> Press B to open your backpack and equip your weapon, except B, backpack, weapon, okay. Got healing potions there, that's good, 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 good. Right, done that. Sliding your weapon out with practiced grace. You give it a twirl with your fingers before laying it flat. Fafina's practically a prurient gaze to absorb. Is that supposed to be suggestive? Uh, that power, that pure destructive force, you can see its shiny surface reflecting in the whites of Fafina's eyes. It's so, so, so... fascinating. Her hands shoot forward to grab it, and having expected such a ruse, you nimbly twirl it out of reach and bridle the covetous girl with a well-placed palm to her forehead. Fina turns away with a hoof and laces her arms across her chest. I get it, I get it. A forlorn sigh, I won't try to touch it again. Am I reading this right? <laughs> okay, right, right. I might have to actually like to have to read this. It might be interesting. I really don't see what the fuss is about, I only want to hold it a bit. Fina emphasises the word with an overly vigorous tug to the red just her ponytail, to readjust, that should be, readjust her ponytail. At any rate, we should be on our way, my Uncle Samuel is further up the path, we should have more information about the wolves. Uh, snippy, callous brazen. Why, this Fina seems like an entirely different person than the one you met only five minutes prior. I'm not keen on spending the rest of your time here accompanying Miss Hate Me Not. You suggest that maybe at some point in the future you might let her try out your weapon. <laughs> oh dear. The speed at which Fina spins round rivals out of a carnivorous lupine in the presence of her freshly sliced chops. Really, she darts forward and grabs your hands. Do you mean it? You should hurry then. To see my uncle, he's a seasoned warrior, you know. It should be perfectly safe with someone like him. The path twists and turns deeper into the woods, and despite the relative calm of the friendly forest, critters cheeping and chirping to your either side, you can't help the burgeoning feeling of disquiet fluttering in your belly. Uh, follow Fina into the forest. Oh, I see. So we can click and just follow. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, they've got to be the cutest enemies. Oh, I see. He's not going to wait for me. Watch out, here comes the big one. 
come on then. Okay, he's dazed. Ooh, what's going on? Here comes a special. Have it. Oh, really? Is that, is that remorse? For, ki for killing the poor thing? Alright, okay. Uh, can you just use F to talk, or can you...? No tar- what's that? No target? What do you mean? What does F do, then? It must be a button just to target, rather than left-clicking, or right-clicking. Uh, that move, that perfectly executed, breathtaking move. Vina's voice quivers in time with the rapid tremolo of her pupils. Okay, well, what do we got? Right, okay, complete. Athena's adoring gaze of unbridled different as you are feeling especially cavalier. Brushing invisible dust off your garments and enabling it, fastening your weapon back to your belt, you explain to her the one true art, ultimate moves. Nothing packs a punch like an ultimate move. These powerful techniques batter the enemy with relentless volleys of attacks that leave them, at best, dazed and confused, if not down for the proverbial count entirely. Such power doesn't come without its cost. Ultimately, ultimate moves require SP to be unleashed during battle, which means you can't go around overkilling every enemy you see. You automatically accumulate SP by using skills, okay? Once your SP gorge is filled to the brim with delicious SP, it will turn yellow. And similar to traffic lights, this is your cue to slam down the accelerator. To use your ultimate move, simply slap your finger on the F key or assign it to a key of your choice along the action bar. Whichever works for you. Okay, so F is your ultimate. Whichever works for you. You return to reality only to find Fiona practicing convulsing with scarily contained veneration. What on earth does that mean? Ultimate moves, she clasps her hands together, breathing heavily, to be able to wield such power, perhaps one day. One day I too could do the same. I could travel the world, inflicting pain on evildoers everywhere. Not wanting to instill any wild ideas into the girl's head, you quickly explain the ultimate moves require years and years of dedicated training to master. And that's on top of an already intense weapons training regimen. Uh, you think I can't do it, don't you? Fina huffs. Just like my father. Well, don't you fear one day I'll prove to everyone that Fina Aguirre is a force to be reckoned with? She clenches her fists, her flames are practically visible in her eyes, then all of a sudden she giggles with a sickly sweet smile. Come on, we're almost there. Uh, the more you learn about this girl, the more she scares you. Nevertheless, you've no choice but to follow her upon making you sure you look presentable. You hightail it after her towards a nearby village. As you approach the wooden planks, however, you can't help but notice the palpable change in the breeze, almost as if the very area itself were tingling with energy. Something feels wrong. Something feels very wrong, and the feeling only grows with each step. Uh, okay, follow Fina into the forest. <laughs> Isn't that good? Just click that. Would it be nice if they did an English translation, wouldn't it? Who are all these people? Ooh, 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 what the hell is this? じゃあ、俺の結果ここに寝転んでるのはどうしてだ。下船な人間ごときを高貴なる精霊であるあなたが気にする必要はないでしょ。それにこの私に従えばかつての身分を取り返せるわ。自分や亡くなった家族のために
これ以上は時間の無駄ね正解に連れて帰ってから考えましょうかさあ彼を捕らえなさいケイやめてサブエロおじさんをいじめないで<笑>早く捕らえなさい他のものは好きにするという OK we have the fight I think my way That's a rather big hammer you have there, sir. Oh, I bet they say, what a large weapon. Uh, okay, how did I know? Oh, well. あなたの騎士だからこそひざまずかせる価値があるはあ和解はできそうにないねそのままあなたの力を貸してあげるだから私を信じてほしいもし言うことなら、oh. あなたにはわからないだろうけど私が選んだ9人目の聖騎士ふざけてるのかしらアイオリアの王子アイナの名において召喚するうぅあお精霊降臨うっじゃあ行くよはい、okay, what are we fighting? Supposed to use these special here or something. Alright, we're gonna wait for these something else. For you, big man. Well, that was an epic start to the game. Uh, you've woken from your slumber by a throbbing headache ripening just beneath your temples, wiping the crust from your eyes with a groan. 
You push yourself up from an unfamiliar bed to find yourself in an equally unfamiliar room. You feel mild alarm. Fending towards the door with a mild trepidation, you twist the handle with a creak. The sight before you is blinding, literally, because your eyes haven't adjusted to the sun yet. You walk out feeling a bit like a bat and promptly run into a soft body. Oh dear, you have to excuse me, I didn't notice you were, you were... Uh, the girl blinks innocuously at you, slowly wrench open your eyes. Once you seem to have gained, gained possession of your sight, she continues. Dragoness, call me Annie. I am the on-call nurse in this town. A crew of fishermen have found you and dear Fina unconscious down by the beach. So the mayor asked if I could look after you. You've been unconscious for three days now. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, did we get anything out of that at all? No, just a lot of talk to Annie. Annie reaches her hand out to feel your forehead. Big blue eyes narrowing in concentration. It seems you've recorded most of your strength. I'll admit for a while there we were worried. You never come to. It was for a it was fortunate those fishermen found you when they did. You ask about Fina's condition, worried she might have suffered the same fate. Fina. Oh, she's been up and about for the past day or so. Told her father everything. When the mayor's heard, he wanted to make sure you got the best treatment. Okay, complete. Everyone's been quite beside themselves with worry, but you seem to have gotten through the worst of it. Anything still breathing? Oh, well, <laughs> breathing. Anything still bothering you? Still a bit weaker on the knees, I'm sure. And the sun obviously already did number on your eyes. She laughed to herself while giving you a quick once-over. You test out the various functions of your body, giving your arms a stretch, shaking out your legs, twisting your hips. The actions prove more tiring than usual. For sure, but something seems... Nothing seems to be broken. There's also the headache pounding just behind your eyes, but you hope that will fade in due time. More than yourself, you find your, your thoughts stuck at what happened on the island. Fina, Samuel, that weird pixie girl. An answer or two might be just a thing to assuage your headache. You ask Annie if she might talk to the mayor and sort some things out. Okay. Uh, talk to Will to complete the quest. Let's go. No idea where I'm going, so I'll we'll press that. Uh, Dragoness, you look at you. Up and at him already. What a surprise. The bearded gentleman standing outside the town hall, who you can only assume is the mayor, trots out on his cane to stop you in the middle of the square. Full of recovery, have you? Nothing still rattling about inside the head of yours. He begins prodding you with the tip of his cane, as though checking for dumbness. You let him continually takes a sharp whack at your chin. Uh, and he'll give me a heart attack when I heard my darling Fina attacked on the island. What's a father to think? I knew of the wolves, of course, but the markings on your gear weren't of wolven origin. I could only fear the worst, that you'd harmed my daughter. Just as you start to fear for your life, you let out a laugh and promptly thwacks your shoulder with his cane so hard it lured bruise. I'm just playing with you. Fina told me everything, of course. Turns out you saved my daughter's life. I guess that puts me in your debt. What's all this here? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Word spread too. Everyone's talking about the young hero who saved the mayor's daughter. Didn't you know you'd become a celebrity so quickly now, did you? Will lets out a gravelly laugh as he strokes his beard. You wouldn't happen to be available, would you? My daughter's single. Hmm. He gives you a playful rip crunching jab with his elbow. Not being said. Have you took a peep at your gear? It was pretty roughed up, so we asked some of our finest artisans to fix it up for you, free of charge, of course. Okay, thank you. Is that a level? Level three, thank you. Free of charge for you that is, but not for me. Ho <laughs> ho! Need to deliver these checks to the merchants. If you don't excuse me for a second, I'll be back to answer more of your questions. You may have in two shakes of my beard. We'll begin rifling through a heaping pile of checks he just procured from his pocket. Will, Will, oh God, Will, it's you've got to in my mind. Old woman jogs over and Will turns to leave. All right, he's stopping to get interest in this now. She has to stop and catch her breath, hands on her knees and ample cheeks flushed. 
a brilliant rose. Bulgarth, Bulgarth, my husband, he's... She swipes the sweat from her forehead, still struggling to form words. A heart attack, he's having a heart attack. Sweet morning glory, Petunia, I'll send so it over post haste. Will's normally flaccid brows bristle with worry. Oh, please hurry. Will, his eyes, his eyes, all I could do was stand there as he writhed and kicked about on the floor, begging for me to help him. He needs help now. Or, or, oh, will you please let my husband die? Her husband, her shoulders start to convulse as wet, salty tears spill down her cheeks. Will lays a hand on Petunia's shoulder. Now, now, Petunia. We'll make sure he pulls through. If this is the last thing I do. Dragoness. I he glances towards you then. Don't want the cheeks, the checks in his hand. Well, now I'm in a right pickle. Recognising the torn look on his face, you step forward with unexpected vehemence. You'll deliver those checks. You'd like to say a word of thanks to the merchants anyway. I will help. Bill's help is needed elsewhere. Okay. You're a good kid, you have my thanks, handing over the checks before clasping your hand in his. He looks you straight in the eye, and as you can tell, with those flocculent brows of his, returning to me once you've delivered the checks. There's something else I need you to do. Okay. Right, so we've got to deliver the checks. I'm not sure we're going to do that. I think we've just about come to the end of this episode. Uh, now we put it on Ultra, everything looks rather nice. Even in its cutlass, it's anime kind of way. I like it. Uh, not sure about the... Uh... What's the word I'm thinking of? <laughs> uh... Yeah, not sure about the conversations we've been having. Um, it does drag on a little bit. So I'm not sure whether to carry on reading those or not. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, we might come back to it. Uh, this is like the first, what is it, 20, 30 minutes of the game. I might come back. Let me know if you want to see more. I just might play it and just even get to uh, see what the classes do. I'll maybe clear out these little runaround quests in town. And maybe next time we can resume with some action. Alright guys, thanks very much for watching. This is All Grey, signing off.